Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the audio system demo of the 2020 Lincoln Aviator and its 28 speaker Revel Ultima 3D sound system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to listen to some sample tracks, check out how the audio system works, speaker locations, all that good stuff. Get out on the road, listen to those tracks while we're rolling, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So before we get started, let's hop out, take a quick look at this vehicle. So this is the mid-size, well, I should say full-size Lincoln SUV. It's pretty much a Ford Explorer with all the Lincoln trimmings, and they've done a pretty good job on it. So if you want to see more on the car, check out the links in the description to our full review and our highway fuel economy test. Also, if you could take a moment to hit that subscribe button, like the video, helps us out a bunch, just have those marked, it mean a lot. So this being the top dog system, we're dealing with a whole lot of speakers. So let's just go look at some speaker locations because there are a lot of spots where there are multiple speakers under one grill. So you've got one, two, three speakers here at least. And then you've got a few speakers up here. Speakers on that side. You actually have a speaker right above the driver and passenger up in the ceiling. Then, got door speaker, door speaker, headrest uh, up above speakers as well back here. And then third row, you've got speakers back there and there's D-pillars and then a big old subwoofer right there. I think it's eight inches. For audio inputs in the Aviator, you're dealing with standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support, and USB-A and USB-C ports found right in, uh, right in here, actually. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, and you also don't have any CD or DVD players. Not all too surprising here in 2020, but it's still an omission nonetheless. For audio controls, You've got volume knob here, as well as volume controls and this toggle joystick thing on the steering wheel. Track selection, you've got steering wheel joystick as well, a manual tuning knob, and then touchscreen buttons. And we always do these sound system tests with all the audio settings set to their factory defaults. So we go in here, just double check, hit reset all. So in the snap and the aviator, you've got your standard treble, mid-range, and bass, as well as front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. So let's check those out now. also have this Quantum Logic 3D surround function that allows you to have a stereo sound right up in front of you, or you can scroll over here to audience, kind of a, a midway surround, and then all the way over to on stage, just full surround. Now what I've noticed while testing this system is that everything sounds best in stereo. There's just a little bit of a loss that you get in the in the surround settings, which is kind of unfortunate because I tend to like surround settings. Other than that, you do have this Revel experience. That's just supposed to kind of show off all the different speaker locations and how powerful it all is. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of kind of showy, but whatever. <laughs> all right, let's get on the road. Come on.
right, now that we're up to 70 miles per hour, turn the music down, let you hear what the car sounds like. Well, it's decently isolated, not too much engine noise or wind noise. A little bit of extra road noise, but that probably isn't helped by these low profile tires. Now this next song can really make or break an audio system. So let's see how the Rebel system handles it. noticing with this song and what I've noticed with a lot of other songs in the system is there's a harshness in the upper mid-range like middle to just upper mid-range and that's the only thing that kind of takes away from the system I would expect some crisper highs and then a little less harsh mid-range other than that the bass is good I mean you kind of hear the bass drum kick pretty well I don't feel it quite as much as I did in, say, the Mark Levinson system or the Mercedes Bang & Olufsen, but it does sound good. Let's go to this one. Let's check out the eight-speaker sub or eight-inch subwoofer capabilities. So I do have some mirror shaking going on. It's good to see. because the company Harman owns most audio system tuners and manufacturers these days. AKG, JBL, Harman Kardon, Bowers and Wilkins, Bang & Olufsen, actually not sure about Bang & Olufsen, but Bowers and & Wilkins and Revel are all, oh, Bowers, Bang & Olufsen, yes, Bang & Olufsen is a Harman brand as well, I'm quite certain. Um, pretty much as long as it's not Bose, it's probably a Harman system. So this is a Harman system as well. And it's not quite as good as some of the best I've heard from them. It's a little, I just get frustrated a bit with how showy it is. I mean, ooh, 28 speakers, up to 1200 watts. But yet, there's just, it's, it's not quite 10 tenths in terms of the crispness and power that I would hope for in a system like this in a car of this price. So if I had to give an objective rating to the 28 speaker Revel Ultima 3D system here in the Lincoln Aviator, I'd be giving it about an eight and a half. It's quite good, but it's just missing out a little bit on that crispness that some of the other systems have and a little bit of that power as well. Now, subjectively speaking, $75,000 luxury SUV like this, I'm giving it about a seven and a half or an eight. The system works well, but it's not exactly, uh, it's not as, as fancy and crisp feeling as some of its competitors. There's no center rotary knobs, you gotta reach up and use a touch screen. It's just a little basic feeling. And then I've just been in other vehicles, luxury vehicles in this class or similar classes, cars that cost less even, that just sound just that much better. So that's what I'm given, Rebel Ultima system here. It's also missing a few key inputs. I mean, not having a CD player is a bit of a letdown for a high, high-end audio system. Definitely not a deal breaker. I'm sure many of you don't even use CDs anymore, but with no CD and no auxiliary input, that means you've got to have your high-quality audio on USB. So that would just be nice to see as well. It kind of notches it down. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more Lincoln Aviator content, check the links in our description, hit that subscribe button, all those good things. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.